is poor, probably compared to non-athlete disadvantaged individuals. Um, this can range anything from dental decay, gum disease and dental erosion, which is wear of teeth by acids. can affect their performance in many ways, either directly through pain and discomfort from the teeth and the mouth, or indirectly, for example, as an, as a, in terms of appearance and the psychological effect that can have, but also there can be inflammation in the mouth. There are many reasons why they might neglect their dental care and, and end up with poor oral health ranging from the nutrition, so you know, taking large amounts of um, carbohydrates um, which contain sugars, um, in the way that the sort of frequency that they have those, it could be because um, you know, the dehydration as a result of sports, lack of saliva can affect their teeth, as well as um, other things such as you know, peer um, pressures or peer, if you like, relationships and not prioritizing looking after their teeth, etc. The advice generally that we would give to athletes or anybody who's exercising is similar to what we would get, give, give the general public in terms of looking after your teeth, which is um, avoiding sugars in particular, sugars and acids in particular, uh, the frequency and the timing, so for example having these with your meal, um, reducing the number of times and also the method of drinking for example sugary acidic drinks, so not holding them in your mouth or swishing them and actually having them in one go or through a straw. The other thing is oral hygiene, so brushing your teeth twice a day and using floss for, in, uh, for cleaning in between your teeth with a high fluoride toothpaste. Um, in terms of exercise in particular, really it's hydration and making sure that you're not dehydrated and the mouth isn't dry. The best thing is water and only when you feel thirsty. Mm -hmm.